This week we have family coming to stay with us from Sweden and we've been getting up to a lot of sort of finishing jobs that I have needed doing, especially in the bathroom and with painting and sealing things up. And these kinds of jobs seem to take a lot of time, even though they seem simple. Um, for some reason, they seem to take up the most amount of time. Um, so this week we started in the bathroom and we're sealing our plaster shower that we created. The shower is created with a kind of water resistant plaster and we're sealing it with beeswax and another type of sealant that goes underneath that that absorbs into the plaster and it takes a number of goes to go over it um, and for it to become completely filled with the wax and things like that. So it's quite time consuming and it requires several goes but the results are really beautiful. And this type of um, plastered shower does require some maintenance but it's very easy to clean so it's a bit of a trade-off because you don't really spend as much time cleaning but Every now and again you do have to reseal with wax by rubbing it into the surface. We also created this stone sink and I'm giving that the same wax sealed treatment um, so that it's just got a slight shine to it and is nice and watertight. Once the wax has been applied, then I just spend some time hand buffing it to give it a little bit of extra sheen. Uh, it was a little bit hard to pick that up on camera, but as you can see here, it's just got a nice light sheen to it, which I think is really beautiful. Hopefully by next week's video I can give you guys a full tour of all the rooms that we have completed and the before and after of what we've done. We're also now on to the finishing uh, paint of all the big walls and this is a rather large job as well because our ceilings are so tall here so it requires quite a lot of time to get everything done but um, this paint that we use is quite forgiving and it's really easy to apply and it's sort of more like a wash so we're just going about room by room and finishing all the walls that needed this um, final touch. This is the lowest of our ceilings and it's in the dining room and it has these beautiful star vaults and I think the ceiling in here is around three and a half meters maybe so it's not too bad but the other rooms are almost five meters tall so we have to uh, figure out a different solution to finish those. <laughs>
Another job that we were working on throughout the week was really sealing up this countertop that we created in the kitchen, which is a sort of a concrete countertop. And we've done this uh, sealant before where we use um, linseed oil and it's worked well for us in the past, but it does also once again require a lot of goes to fill up all the micropores in the concrete. So it takes a long time. And we also had some touch-ups to do on a few pieces of wood that we had added to this kitchen uh, at the top here under the countertop and also on the lower piece. We just had to do a few nice touch-ups on the wood to make it look perfect. So a bit of a wild card this week was that we went to have a look at a car and we've been looking for an adventure type car for a while now that we can go on some trips together with our dogs and we came across this old interesting vehicle that was used for a shop display and we thought that we could do something cool with it maybe convert it into a little camper type situation and hit the road for some adventures and I'm sure it's going to have some problems on the road but nothing that we probably can't learn to fix. I don't know, maybe we're crazy, we kind of like it, what do you guys think? Um, would you tackle something like this? I think it could be fun, it could also be amusing if it's a disaster. <laughs> um, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Back at home we were also tackling painting the kitchen. Parts of it had already been done but we had some other areas that needed plaster patching so uh, we had to do a few extra walls in here as well um, just to make them nice and fresh. We've tried to create as much of the finishes in the house as possible and these are the terracotta um, wall sconces that we created for the kitchen and they've got tape around them obviously in this picture but um, they look really beautiful when they're lit up in the evening. These pieces are vintage but as some of you may or may not know Martin and I both do pottery, even though we haven't had any time recently. Um, so ceramics are something that we really love and we hope to show a bit more of that in future videos um, about the art pieces that we create. A few small jobs that we have to complete in here but for the most part our kitchen is almost done which is really satisfying and we're really happy to see how it's come together after all the hard work we've been putting in over the last year and a half.
And for those of you that have been following along the process, um, this is the little guest space that we're converting and it's basically almost finished this week. I was spending a lot of time in here painting again and we've also done the floors and a lot of other little touches. So in next week's video, I'll be able to show you all of that because we have a guest coming to stay this week. This week has felt so busy. We've had so many different finishing jobs to do. Martin's had other work to do, so I have been doing quite a lot of stuff, but he's also been fitting in everything else that I can't manage. So it's a real team effort and it's really nice to be able to take some time off this week when we have family coming and just enjoy everything that we've done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already and next week hopefully we can show you more finished progress on what we've been doing in all the rooms in the house and maybe who knows we might have a little new project with this car stay tuned for next week and we'll see you then thank you bye